Hey folks, this is J.W. Stevens and my wife Nancy, and y'all know us as Ma and Pa with our video series Ma and Pa on the Swing. And uh, today, um, <clears throat> I'm going to do a video compilation of our livestock guardian dogs. And um, if I could get Mama just to scoot over toward me a little bit so we can see her a little better in the video. <laughs> Y'all like to see Mama's pretty face, I'm sure. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to do that. Um, now, w on these here livestock guardian dogs that we got as pups, uh, now, I have not done a lot of research on all of the breeds, but I did research the Anatolian Shepherd, which caught my eye as far as looks and brains. Not that the other ones aren't smart or anything, but this is the one I did the research on. Mm -hmm. And um, first and foremost, uh, I must tell you that if you're looking for a pet or something to take in your house, look no further. Don't, don't even go there. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, even though they may be gentle, quote unquote, with um, their owners and the family members, uh, they're not to be trusted well, around strangers because mm -hmm. that's their makeup. That's their um, instinct that uh, what they were bred for is guard mm -hmm. dogs. Uh, now, what we have had here over the last probably 8 to 10 years, um, we've had probably 60 to 80 uh, laying hens killed mm -hmm. by foxes. And uh, y'all know, um, some of y'all know that I'm also a trapper. Mm -hmm. uh, and I know that may not go over well with some folks, but it's part of the uh, ecosystem and part of uh, the conservation of, um, li of uh, animals, of wildlife. So <clears throat> that's just the way it has to be that we need to be predators also. Um, for food and also to protect our livestock. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I trapped seven um, foxes at my chicken house. Um, and it was just getting um, just a little bit overwhelming for me That's to be I'm able saying. to, mm -hmm. uh, you know, see all the time what's going on all the time, you know to survey everything all the time. So uh, last summer we did a little research. Uh, actually, we did a lot of research and um, came up with uh, the, the breed of livestock guardian dog that mm -hmm. we got, which was the Anatolian pep uh, Shepherds. Mm -hmm. Anatolian <laughs> Peppers. Peppers. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking about the garden here. Yeah. 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 Anything you want to say, Mom? Yeah, well, I, I would agree that... Um, they're very, very good dogs, and they really do have watched over our farm greatly. And I wouldn't recommend taking them in the house either because the reason Huge. they're guard dogs, and plus they love to roam and run around the fencing, and um, they do most of that at nighttime. That's what That's they right. do at nighttime. So um, we, have, we haven't lost anything since we mm. had those. Not one, Not one animal, animal have we lost mm -hmm. to land predators. No. No, and they do their job because uh, when I go out in the, in the nighttime there and... Uh, hear them wolfing. Yep, and you can hear that, uh, the wolfing yell. And when we first got them, they were huge little puppies. Yeah, they were eight weeks and old now and they probably weighed 15 pounds, didn't well, they? How much do they weigh now? They, um, they're, they're close to mm -hmm. 80 to 100 pounds mm -hmm. at seven months old. Mm -hmm. Now, <clears throat> when I go in the pen... <clears throat> Let me back up a minute. What you have to do, I I advise that when you get one, you get one as a pup, raise it with your family inside the enclosure where they're going to be mm -hmm. with the livestock. We raise goats and chickens, mm -hmm. and both of our um, uh, pups, they're both males out of the same litter. Uh, I guess you can understand why I didn't get two uh, one male and one female out of the same litter because we didn't 
want anything to happen that that would not be uh, genetically safe. So um, what we did, we got two brothers, uh, Bear and Hugo, and they're seven months old now, and I'm thinking about possibly uh, selling one of those so that I can get a female um, that is not of the same family. Um, these both are registered. Now, this is not an ad to sell them, but I'm just saying that uh, two male intact males, as they get older, they will have territorial uh, discussions and it may get ugly. So, uh, I would not suggest that you had two males in the enclosure that we have. We probably have three acres fenced in uh, that they can go around the perimeter mm -hmm. and keep it safe. And that's now, what they do. Oh yeah, <laughs> they have a trail all around it. Mm -hmm. uh, so we want to get on in here now and um, get you some of the footage from the, the time that we decided to get them and went down to pick them up and when we met the puppies, how uh, cute they were. And as we go over the time, mm -hmm. there's one clip in here I want you to see it's nighttime, and all you're going to see is the black sky, but you'll hear mm -hmm. one of the uh, pups at about five months of age down at the bottom of the property, and he sa his voice is so deep that it would scare uh, even the unscarable <laughs> away. Uh, and he's actually barking back at a pack of coyotes that were just... Uh, probably a hundred yards uh, across the fence, mm -hmm. uh, yipping and barking at him. So right. he uh, he did do his job. Now their first line of defense is barking. Mm -hmm. And yeah, and actually, they, actually also um, they do bark the perimeter for the animals, but they also let you know if there's strangers around right. the fencing. Yeah, they're guard dogs. Mm -hmm. and, they're guard and, dogs all the way around. And they bark mm -hmm. at things that mm -hmm. are not supposed to be there, mm -hmm. you know, whether it's humans, mm -hmm. foxes, coyotes. Mm -hmm. uh, now, we did lose one duck to a hawk mm -hmm. down at the pond, and what had happened was the hawk got the duck before the pups could get down there, mm -hmm. but he did get that, they did get down to the duck before the hawk could eat it, but, mm -hmm. I mean, that wasn't a save, but in a sense, they did do what they mm -hmm. could have done, you know, possibly done. Mm -hmm. So you'll have that every now and then with mm -hmm. air predators. I mean, mm -hmm. so we're really, really happy and tickled oh, with yeah. um, the choice we've made. Mm -hmm. So stay mm -hmm. tuned here and make sure mm -hmm. that you subscribe to our mm -hmm. YouTube channel. And if you mm -hmm. want to be notified anytime that we upload our new videos, hit that notification mm -hmm. bell so it turns on your notification. Right. And feel free to share this video and give us a thumbs up on it mm -hmm. also, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Enjoy the video. <music> Bye. 
Anatolian shepherds, you better be the alpha. End the story. <laughs> all right, all right, nibble on my fingers. I know. And here comes Hugo. There you go, buddy. And here comes Bear. Yeah. Y'all doing? Did you have a good night? Huh? You have a good night, did you? Trying to get up behind me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm going to take him a walk. After a bit down in the paddock here, it's about... I guess three acres fenced in that they'll be guarding eventually here. So I'm going to take them a walk around. They haven't been um, out there yet. So this is a 10 by 10 kennel right here. And um, but anyway, this is a 10 by 10 that we put them in. Uh, probably leave them in here for. Two weeks anyway, three weeks, maybe a month, but I'll let I'll take them out probably daily and let them walk around the perimeter of the fence and let them know where they're supposed to stay in and what they're supposed to uh, guard. Take them around the goats. Um, take them around the chickens. You hear the chickens crowing over there, so. What are you doing, Hugo? Yeah, you were standoffish there when we first bought you. Yeah, but now you're not, are you? Look, what are you doing? You sneaking up on something, Bear? You sneaking up on something? Yeah, look at that, using his paw. The breeder told me when they use their paw to paw on you like this, that's the sure sign of acceptance. Like, they've accepted me as part of their... Um, I guess you might clan, right? Part of the pack, right, Hugo's? Yeah, Hugo's. That's good, buddy. Uh, so my job now is to somehow define to them that I am the alpha. Period. They cannot be the alpha. A hundred, hundred and forty pounds. You don't want them to be the alpha. That's for sure. So, the way that they're uh, taken up to me here, I think they're going to be relatively, hopefully, easy to um, train and um, commit over to this. <laughs> what are you doing? Scratching my back? I'll scratch yours. You scratch mine. How's that? Huh? Yeah. Yep. 
And this is Hugo back here trying to get in my back. And that's a uh, bear over there just took a piece of the new dog food, I guess. <laughs> so they're looking good. It's just an update here at the Stevens Family Homestead on um, uh, their first night. They actually, we, we came in Friday night. We got here after dark, so we left them in the kennel in the back of the truck instead of uh, putting them down here while it was dark. So we got up early the next morning and uh, transitioned them down here, which was yesterday morning. And I've yet to hear a severe whine or cry or anything, um, especially last night after dark. The uh, mountain curs were barking so I came out here to the fence to see uh, what they were barking at that was like two o'clock in the morning and when I stepped over to the fence over here one of these guys give a big mean rough bark like who are you <laughs> till they recognized who I was and then they quit so I think it's going to work out these Anatolian shepherds we're using them for guard dogs for for our goats and our chickens and we have a couple ducks so the fowl is what's probably going to be uh, the hardest to get them not to chase um, I've also ordered six signs to put on the perimeter areas especially where the gates are uh, warning people that there are livestock guardian dogs in here working do not come in because I won't be responsible what happens to you if you do. Uh, these, these here Anatolians, is what I understand, uh, their first line of defense to you is they'll bark. Run up and bark. That is like, you don't want to come in here, you need to stay out, or further action will be taken. Right? Right, Hugo? Is that right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not even hungry. You just want to be loved, don't you, buddy? Huh? Yeah, yeah. We're doing it. We're doing it. Old Bear's over there chewing on his squeaky toy. We'll get out after a while, buddy. I'll let you out here after a while, and we'll see what, what happens, okay? Okay. You're watching Stevens Family Outdoors on the Stevens Family Homestead here in West Virginia. So y'all have a great day. Come on, come on. Oh, they're underneath my feet. Look, he just barked at this stump. Yeah, you gotta figure everything out here. I'm gonna turn this off, and when they do something, Lord have mercy. Run over and investigate it, and then come back. Yeah. <laughs> I'm on the other side of our... Uh, this is the southern end of the paddock. There's my fence. Four foot chain link, four foot paved wire. I used to raise white-tailed deer years ago, so that's why the fence was so high. There are the goats. Up there's the house and the chicken house.
It's okay. It's okay. All right, Ada. Ada. It's okay. It's all right. Okay, I'm actually in the middle of the paddock. There's the southern end. Western. northern fence but I've got another five acres on the other side of that in the eastern section. Pups kennels right up there. There's Etta. Greta. Actually, that's Millie, and that's Greta. Greta, Millie, and Etta. And Hugo, and Bear. You guys ready? I'm trying to teach them that when I make a certain noise, that they'll come along to me. I'm going to do it now. Good boy, Bear. Good boy. Sit. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah. That's a good boy. Yeah. This is Bear. <laughs> I know it's awful close, but he likes getting up close. And there's Hugo. Over there. He was just here beside me, but he doesn't like to get too close to his kennel. Well, he knows he gets locked up in there at night. So. All righty, boys. Bruce, you're right beside that pup. Now.
Come here. with the goat. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you doing big boy? There they are now. Well folks, we hope you enjoyed that little video clip of uh, our livestock guardian dogs and uh, we're going to close for now and as I said before, don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe! <laughs> <laughs> and hit that notification mm -hmm. bell. And give us a thumbs up mm -hmm. if you like what you're seeing here, okay? Yes. God bless. This is Paul. And this is Paul. Almost heaven. West Virginia, Blue Ridge Mountain, Shenandoah River. Life is old there, older than the trees, younger than the mountains, blowing in the breeze. Country roads take me home to the place I belong. West Virginia, Mountain Mama, take me home. And dusty, painted on the sky. Misty taste of moonlight brings tears up to my eyes. Country roads take me home.